on this episode of Sviter Ball. Oh, lovely. Keeper makes a great one-handed save. Beautiful shot. On. Oh, lovely. This is Zendling. Welcome to Sviter Ball. And today I'm here for Latino Munchen versus Hertha Munchen. And they're playing in the Toto Pokal 23-24 Kers Munchen South Round 1. Latino Munchen play in the 145 C Class, which is the 12th level of German football. They have played one friendly so far this season, losing 3-2. And they were in fifth place last season in the league. Hertha Munchen play in the 114 Kers Klasse which is the ninth level of uh, German football. I'm, I'm, I'm not really confident in saying that, but I think it's the ninth level of German football. They have played three friendlies this season, winning one, drawing one, and losing one. And they actually got relegated last season, so let's hope for them this season they'll be back stronger. As I said, this is round one of the Toto Pokal, and they actually know who they'll be playing in the second round. MTV München won 4-2 in the first round, so they're playing MTV München away. I forgot to do a match prediction today, so I'm going to go for Hertha Munchen winning 4-1. And here we have kickoff, and we have the home side, Latino Munchen in the green and black, and we have Hertha Munchen in blue and white. Rolls it in, keeper has it. Deflected up. But easy in the end for the keeper. Big shot, deflected. Keeper behind it. Oh, he's true. He's crowded out, he pulls it back, oh they 2 and 3 them, big shot, oh lovely, number 11 was nearly trying to get in and number 8 scored a great one, well done, fabulous shot, top corner, 1-0. Number 11 in again here, he'll play it back, no, play it to the edge of the box 17, it was a weak shot, lack of communication there between keeper and defender, corner. Oh, he's going to shoot. Oh, that corner is getting awful abuse. Another top corner. Beautiful. 2-0 to Hertha München. Oh, number 7, can he get in? Oh, 3-0. They're definitely spilling blood here. Oh, inside, blocked, good defending, good block the second one as well, corner ball. Beautiful shot, on, oh lovely, 17, um, not 17 nil, it's 4 nil. Hertha are scoring fantastic goals this evening. Oh. Bit of a defensive mix up there, and he just couldn't get a heavy enough touch to get into the back of the net. Oh, just over. Big ball in, lovely chest control. He touches down to his teammate, he gets it back again. Oh, he tried to get the shot in, but his teammate got the shot in. Remains at 4 0. That was the first time that Latino Munchen were near the goal. Keeper makes a save. Oh, 
He's on. Can he do it? Over. Well, they're going to trend the goal. Oh, their first shot on target, or towards goal, I should say, at all. And they made the keeper work. Corner in. Will he drive it? Ooh. Good drive, but it was always rising. Oh, 17th through, he'll have another lash. Keeper makes a great one handed save. Good ball right into the centre. Keeper has it, he drops it, defender clears it. Is he through? 11 and 12 battling. Number three whips it in. Oh, number seven just fails to connect. But good ball into the centre again. And they're on the attack again. That's definitely a foul. Ball in. Oh, just couldn't control the header, but good ball in. Pull back to the edge of the box. Keep makes another good save. And it's for now. 5 0. Half time here, Latino Munchen nil, Hertha Munchen five. Uh, the score will only be limited by the imagination of Hertha Munchen. If they want to score 10 or 15 goals, I'd imagine they probably can. So let's see how the second half goes. But today there won't be any around the any around the ground because I was told I'm not allowed film around the ground without permission letter. Seems strange to me, but that is life. Yeah, he's definitely onside there. He's running from way behind. Oh, in off the post and in. Great finish from number nine. Six nil. Gonna have a shot from distance, keeper. Put his body behind it, good save. Gonna have a shot. Oh, beauty. Took it, turned. I think he came out of half time, number 13. Great finish. 7 nil. Seventeen strike it. All the way, keeper has it. I thought number 13 was going to hit it there, he plays number 11. Side net. The left back wants to have a goal, and he will. Keeper dropped it. He dropped it. Oh, he, he caught it on the second or third attempt. No, oh, is he in? Plays across his teammate. Unselfish there for number nine. Number 13 scores his second. Well saved from the keeper right out to the edge of his box. Oh, man on the line saves it. Good shot. Oh, just wide. Ball in. Touched. Oh. Number 12, that is 9 nil. We're heading towards double figures. Have a shot. Oh, it's an OG. 10 nil for the OG. Ball in. That is their first shot on target of the second half. With about five minutes, eight minutes to go. Number nine, is he true for 11? Off and in. <laughs> There's a fortuitous goal, but 11 nil. Yeah, referee says he's onside, all the way to the back post. Oh, 
Number eight heads it over. And number eight is through, he just missed the header. He doesn't miss this time. 12 nil. There you have it underneath Friday Night Lights. It is 12 nil to Hertha München. An absolutely dominant performance. 5 nil a half time. They could have said, yeah, that's enough. But they went and scored another seven in the second half. Latino München didn't have anything about them. Their two shots on target was it. Um, they just couldn't get out of their own half. Hertha München were pressing all the time. As I said, just a dominant performance. They march on to the second round, and I imagine in the second round they will have a much sterner test against MTV München. So good luck to them in the next round. If you like what you saw, if you could please subscribe, like, share and all that kind of stuff. But for now, good luck, goodbye and good night. Thank <laughs> you.